I'm here with Katie Ulander, who competes in the skeleton and is hoping to make it to her second Olympics. How does skeleton compare to luge? Because they look quite similar, but is the approach different? Uh, they're feet first, we're head first. We sprint, they paddle. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing. It's just uh, they have a little bit more control and um, their rules are a bit different. They get away with a lot more than we do. So you look at footage of skeleton competitions and it's throwing yourself down an ice tunnel head first at 80 miles an hour. What made you want to get involved in this sport? I really was just hanging out and this girl said, you should try skeleton. And I said, all right, what's that? You know, I'll give it a shot. And eight weeks later, I was national champion. So it wasn't like, I was like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. It was, uh, why not? And then uh, I decided to go to the Olympics. Are there sports that feed into the skeleton that if you're good at that sport, you'll be good at skeleton? They try to recruit track athletes because the sprint is definitely huge. Like if you have a great start, you have a great chance to be a phenomenal athlete in our sport. But you also need to have the uh, ability to drive and that has a lot more to do with eye-hand coordination and, and um, being able to relax through chaos. <laughs> Can you tell how well you're doing as you're going down the track? No, I mean, that's the one thing that's really frustrating is you can have a great clean run and you're like, yeah, I dominated that. And then you get done and you're like, why is my time slow? There's so many variables that go into it that deal with equipment, aerodynamics, um, and friction. Like, sometimes it's better to let the sled fly and hit the wall than it is to keep it from hitting the wall. Have you ever had a bad crash? In Segulda, I had the sled land on me and cracked my sternum. <laughs> I think that's that like the worst one, yeah. <laughs> What, what's been the biggest challenge throughout your whole skeleton career that you've had to overcome? Last season, competing while my father was dying of cancer. Um, I didn't want to be there, but uh, my father made me go, told me it was my responsibility as the best athlete in the country. And I think he was right. I, um, I enabled my teammates to have an opportunity to go to the Games. You competed in the 2006 Olympics. What was your experience like? Horrible. <laughs> um, getting there was sucked. I mean, it was just such a stressful season. But I mean, once I actually got to walk into opening ceremonies, the world changed. It was no longer about me. I really felt humbled and I was just a small part of something so much bigger than myself and it's something I'll never forget and it was inspiring, invigorating and humbling all at the same time. What are your hopes for 2010? To have a wonderful experience representing my country and keeping my father's legacy alive. Um, I have no expectations of results but I do want to show up being the athlete I know I am and uh, I'm honoured to represent the US. Well, we're looking forward to seeing your progress. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. I'm Ellen Morton and you've been watching Rocket Boom.